Hello everyone, it's Grandma Jackie and I'm back with another video. Good morning. Um, actually it's noon, but um, today's Monday and it's been kind of rainy outside. We had a little bit of a storms roll through last night, but it wasn't too serious in the area that I am in. It just, you know, a little bit of thunderstorms. Um, not too bad as far as I know for everybody around here, so... Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have um, a Dollar Tree haul. I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> so, um, you know, in the garden section at the Dollar Tree, they have these things. And I actually, whenever I bought this, this I've already hauled this before, I didn't pay attention. I thought it was just a little handheld. And you know, it certainly can be. But then, um, I was like, okay... But it does have this on the bottom. And then I seen other people hauling these, which is also in the garden section. And these makes it a handheld. Oh, I bet I can't get it on there because. Oh. Let me see if I can just because it's screwed on so that's why I thought okay all right. it's screwed on so I thought that didn't go to it because you see there's no there's no what you call it the grooves for the screw to screw in but put it down in it and then screw it on there it screws on down in there ta-da so I don't know if anybody else knew that, but I was like, okay, okay. So now I got a long handled rake, garden rake. Yay. <laughs> um, something that me and my husband are, are going to work on this year is a, a little, and by little, I mean not very big at all. Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? It just went out of my mind. Greenhouse to where I can plant some plants you know, keep it sunny and warm in there, and maybe grow tomatoes longer than if I were to grow them outside, because I like fresh tomatoes. I'm having problems with the tomatoes from the store. So, and up here in this weather, you can only grow them for a, a short period of time, I feel like, and I want them for longer. So, I'm going to try it. I mean, it's no harm in trying, right? And then I'll be able to grow my um, my herbs and stuff like that longer too, probably. So that's, that's going to be good. Okay, I just have like a couple of sacks here from a Dollar Tree. And I'm going to say, I think this is the stuff from my favorite Dollar Tree when I went last week. <laughs> last week. Okay, I picked this up for Lila because she loves wearing little hats around the house. So I got her this to wear. And she's so cute. Sometimes she goes in the playroom. She comes out all dressed up in all kinds of different stuff. And I cannot help but smile. She makes me smile all the time. So, yeah, this is going to definitely put a smile on my face. I grabbed a, another one of these. I need to count how many I have because... I think I may only need like two two or three more. Um, I'm going to do something with these for um, CNA week. And then I really need to show you what I've come up with for nurses week because that's just in a couple of weeks. Ah, oh, here it is. Yes. So I did get some more. I got one, two, three, four more just in case. So now I think I have enough of these for CNA week. I thought I did, but I wasn't quite sure. Ooh, there's something still in there. Oh. Okay. And then, um, last year, when my aunt and I went around to the cemeteries, um, I used the, the flower lays if you will, from the Dollar Tree to line the shepherd's hook around. It looked very pretty. 
Um, I wasn't sure how long it was going to last, but I went with that idea again this year for my mom and possibly uh, my grandma if my aunt wants to do that. So my mom, this is dark blue, I got two, so I'd make sure there'd be enough. And I just used those um, things from the Dollar Tree, the green twine that you pull out and cut off. That's what we use to put stuff on the shepherd's hooks. So I would just put this, kind of wrap a little bit around the shepherd's hook and put the green twine on there. Or, or a little bit of that and then some. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's what we are. <laughs> okay, let me put this stuff out of the way. And here is the purple. They're just so pretty and vibrant. Very dark colors. Beautiful colors. And the way it would catch in the sun and the light. Yeah. So that's just an idea if you guys, you know, are into doing things like that for your family. That's just an idea. I did pick up this bone for um, Buddy. It's a dental treat for dogs, and it's an aura bone. It says it's made in the USA, which I tend to lean towards that whenever it comes to his food and treats. So I just got him one because, you know, if you guys follow me, you know he's a Cocker Spaniel and he has his allergies. Oh my goodness, I found these. Um, to put in the Mother's Day um, collection that I got going, which it's just about there. It's just about there. What have I done? Oh. Um, I picked up these Diamond Cosmetic um, nail files, and I figured I can open it and put one in each one. I love the colors, like a purple. One's like, I don't know, almost like a morning glory flower on there but purple <laughs> and then I found these which I was super excited I just got one one each of the set that I found this one is a chocolate face mask it's chocolate and strawberry oh this is cool to put in a Mother's Day gift basket so I got that and then this one is ice cream face mask. This one had chocolate and strawberry. This one is creamy milk and honey. And this one is a cupcake face mask. And this one has um, hyalur hyaluronic acid and vanilla. How cute is that? The packaging is gorgeous. So I got those to put in with the Mother's Day things. And I just picked up a thing of stickers. Looks like this might be the only one. Kind of like travel stickers, maybe. I'm trying to think of the old show that had the telephone booth that you go into and transport. I can't think of what that was. Is that Doctor Who or something like that? I don't remember. Okay, so anyways, going along with the thing I showed first, which I probably should have showed it together, but this. You can interchange this with this so you can have a plastic rake or this kind of rake and they also have it like little shovels and different gardening pieces so I picked up the two rake ones so now I have the plastic and the metal one and I thought that's little bit of stuff right there is what I'm gonna put in my greenhouse I'm already gathering for it and it's not built yet but we're building it out of just like little pieces of this and that that I find around and actually I'm going to put a piece of stained glass that I purchased um, in it hanging in it or something to reflect light 
but I really need to show it to you guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. While I'm talking about it, I don't know if I could get it out. Oh my gosh, now I have to. Okay, I'm going to scooch back just a little bit so I can get up. I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back because I have to show you now. Okay, I'm back. I got this on a Facebook um, marketplace and it is a very long piece. I got to be careful of stained glass. It's actually purple and gray. There you can see the colors better. Purple and gray. And it is like long rectangle. I can't even tell you how long. Um, it is taller than I am and I'm 5'7". So probably about I don't know, six foot, but it's this long piece of beautiful stained glass and I'm going to hang out there. And this is what kind of started it. So, yeah, I, I will show you guys once we get further into the project. So I'll pause this to put this up so it don't break. Okay, I'm back. I had to show that. Um, I had purchased it a while back, not really knowing in particular what I was getting it for, but I kind of had a thought in the back of my mind. And... Now that's what I, I just feel like I have to do that now. If you ever get that way when you have a project, um, that is definitely going in the greenhouse. Um, and like I said, it, it can hang either long ways or it can hang um, sideways. And I think I'm going to hang it sideways, but anyways, or build it into it somehow I don't know we'll figure that out but it's a it's a have to situation now it's like I feel like I have to build the whole greenhouse around it but I also just want it out of spare parts if that makes any sense work together when we put it together I mean I don't know sometimes I get excited about stuff and I'm just like girl keep taking stuff on um, a pack of tissue paper I did pick up another one of these um, sewing needle kits and it has the bigger needles in it. I picked up the kit that had a bunch of these in it the other day, but this one has the big needles. So you can do some heavy embroidery. And you know, I used to know how. I mean, I bet if I picked it up again I can reteach myself, but so I did pick that up. I got a couple of these glasses. Look at these. They look fancy, but they're just plastic. And they were in like the party section is where I found them at in the store. I thought that how cute are these? Just have little little glasses of like orange shoes or whatever in the morning. I got a couple of those. They had a bunch of that beach stuff, but I I really don't have many places to put beach stuff in my house since I don't live by the beach or the lake or anything like that. But I do have had like a shelf in my bedroom at one point, but it, now I I don't know. So I just picked up a couple of things that I seen in the beach section and I picked up two of these ribbons that has like I think they're supposed to be uh starfish, but they just look like stars to me. And they are nine foot so I just picked that up to go out into the shed uh, a couple of these cake topper things which I figure I can use also to put in I know you guys are gonna think I'm crazy but to put in um, decor but also to put in things that we make for the cemeteries to catch the sun's um, rays and sparkle because they're so sparkly. So I got the blue and the purple. So and they're they're supposed to be cake toppers. There's 12 pieces in each one, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So I picked up some more stuff for um, the Grimmel Fun Basket. Oh, 
I'm just kind of taking my time today. I, I don't even know why. Usually I'm rush rush and I'm like, eh, pff, it'll happen if it happens. Okay. So a couple of things for the Grandma Fun Basket. I got a mermaid and two fairies, but the two fairies are different um, because their clothing is different colors. This is how I, I did it in my mind. I was like, well, they're different. And the girls really loved, because when they was over here for um, the other day, they really loved playing with them little dolls that I got from uh, my favorite thrift store. They were in a little Ziploc baggie. They loved playing with those things. So this will kind of go along with that. They're little fairies, and you can change their hair and their clothes. And so I just got, see what I mean? The two different colors. So they're different fairies, right? <laughs> they are because their long dresses are different colors. And their hairs are different colors. Yeah. I don't know. And see how the dresses are different colors? Like the yellow is in the flared and the flared's in the pink over here. So they won't be the same is what I'm thinking. And then this one it was a mermaid. And it has all those different little little things they can play with too. Now Lila isn't allowed to play with this. And I actually put all the little stuff in one of my little suitcases. Really old suitcase that I found. I don't know. I think I got it at an auction one time. But anyways, I put all the little stuff in there so we can contain it so it doesn't accidentally go anywhere else and Lila can get a hold of it. So I don't have to worry about that. But anyways, I thought about putting these in the Grandma Fun Basket because the girls really liked those the other day. So that's what I'm restocking the Grandma Fun Basket. Okay, and I picked up just this plate set to have out for, I don't know, not necessarily a party, but maybe for spring or summer. I don't know. I just liked it. I thought it was cute. It has the different kind of cupcakes and snow cones and suckers and stuff. Just reminds me of summer summer fun. There's 16 plates on here. So. And then I picked up Lila a couple of headbands. And it wasn't until I got it home that I realized that the back one is just a plain black one. I thought they both had the little hearts on it, but that's fine. They had these little heart things. But I also have those iron on things from the Dollar Tree that I could probably iron on a little design for the black one if I needed to. But anyways, a two-piece headband set. Oh, I also picked these up for the Grimmel Fun Basket. And this is a um, Disney Princess and a Disney Frozen 2. Um, and they have to make them. They are wind chimes. But they're paper. Oh, it's a mobile. Okay, I say wind chimes. <laughs> I was like, make your own wind chime. Make your own punch out mobile set. And it's like the Disney princess. They're very pretty. And this one is the Frozen 2. Very pretty. So a couple more things to add to the grandma fun basket. Oh, and then I just got this um, folder because it's like made out of this material. And it says be cool. And you can put it in a binder. Which is very helpful. It'll help me contain my all my filing systems at home. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got a couple of these. I'm going to go ahead and haul these because I'm going to take them to work. Because I took the last ones to work and we used them. This Modest Basic Antibacterial Spray Wash. No rinsing necessary. And it's like pH balance. I picked up one more of those. And then this Modest Basic um, Antibacterial Skin Cream. 
with aloe and aloe vera and alanolin and vitamins A, D, and E. This stuff is like pretty good for your skin, especially if you have skin issues. So I'm taking that to work today. I picked up my husband some of this foot powder spray and it soothes, cools, and comforts with cornstarch. He has like issues, especially in the summertime when his feet sweat and his boots. He has to wear steel toe boots. Oh, I did pick up two of the skin cream. So I'll take that too. And I seen some, some paints. Now I have a lot of paints. And the kids wanted to paint the other day, but I didn't want to bring it inside. And it was kind of chilly in the shed. Um, but I went ahead and picked these up because they were different paint colors than I have. I know I don't have these paint colors. And they they were in like around the beach section or lake section or whatever you call it. So I picked these up. And I don't know if it tells you the color. Aqua. This one's aqua. Um this one's dusty blue. And this one is sea sand. So yeah, I just thought those were cute and I know I don't have these in, in my collection. And I thought I got a different color of these because, it, oh here it is. I was like, I know they had another color. Here they go. These elastic bands from Crafter Square. Um, there's 10 yards in here, 10.9 yards. Um, so I got a red. a white and a gray. Now what I'm going to do with them I don't know but this would be good <coughs> <coughs> excuse me this would be good in your um, craft craft or sewing section so I remember whenever we was trying to make homemade masks because there was a mask shortage and we couldn't find elastic anywhere so wouldn't that have been nice so I did pick those up and just a few more things. I got this thing of lunchbox games, silly games for lunchtime fun. I don't pack the kids' lunches. Um, and my husband, I'm not going to put this in his lunchbox. But I figured the kids could um, do these just little games if they wanted to sit around and do stuff with me. Like it's coming up on summer and I want them over here more. Over here or with me more. Oh, and here. Oh, I knew I got another one. There's a pink one, too. That's right. Then I got three more things of the Lipton um, Southern Sweet Tea. All you have to do is add water and drink. Add water and drink. I got two of the flavored Italian breadcrumbs. I got two of those stuck in the pantry. I got a little thing of mushroom pieces and stems for my husband. I don't like these. I like fresh mushrooms, which um, one of the nurses at work just brought me some fresh mushrooms yesterday that her son had found so I can fry them up. I was going to do it before work, but now I think I might wait because I'm running out of time. Um, I got some of these veggie chips, sea salted. Um, I don't remember getting the veggie chips before. I might have got the veggie straws before. And this is by the Good Health. I don't know. Gluten-free. Non-GMO. Verified. <laughs> what does that mean? Non-GMOproject.org. Okay. Made on... Shared equipment with products that contain milk. Made in a peanut and tree nut free facility. Not for sale in California. Huh. Okay. Anyways, got that. And I think that's it, you guys. That's my haul. And that was pretty much, I think, all from my favorite Dollar Tree. 
Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I will be back here Wednesday. I'm not sure what kind of video it's going to be, so it'll be a surprise. If it's warm enough, I don't know. It might be me and Lila vlogging or something. I don't know. So anyways, please stay safe. Take care of yourself, and I will catch you later.